Hi guys, in today's video, we'll be looking at how to fix the 403 forbidden access denied error in WordPress. Now, there are different scenarios where you might see this error when you try to access your WordPress admin login page during WordPress installation and also when visiting any page on your WordPress website. Now, there are different causes for this type of error in WordPress. The WordPress security plugins that are not properly configured are the main culprits of the 403 forbidden issues. Also, corrupt.hc access file can also cause the 403 error. Incorrect file permission on your servers can cause the 403 forbidden error. Even your web hosting company can make some changes to your server settings that can also cause the 403 forbidden errors. Now, there are three approaches to fix this error. So, we'll fix the corrupted.hc access file. We'll fix the WordPress plugins. We'll also fix the file permission issues in WordPress. So, let's get started. So to fix the corrupted.ht access file, we go to our cPanel. Now you can access your cPanel from your web hosting provider. Just log into your account. So from the cPanel, I'll click on the file manager. So from the file manager, I have a folder called demo.demotutorialyt.com. Now this is a subdomain name on my cPanel. So I'm going to click on this folder. And but in case you don't have a subdomain name, you have a primary domain name. And you're going to click on the public dash html folder now from here you're going to locate the dos ht access file so but in my own case i have a subdomain name installed on my cpanel so i'll go back and i'll click on demo tutorial.yt so from here we're going to look for a file called dot ht access file so currently the file is not here dot ht access file so i'm going to go to settings and i'll click on show hidden files save settings so from here, we can see the .ht access file. So what we'll do here is to rename this folder. So I'll right click, rename the folder. So you can give it any name. I'm going to call mine old thing. And I rename the file. So go back to your website, refresh your website and check to see if the error has been fixed. So if the error has been fixed, we'll go back to our WordPress admin dashboard. Now from our WordPress admin dashboard, we we'll scroll up to settings. We'll go to power links. Now from the power links, we'll click on save changes. So if this method doesn't work, the next method is to disable or deactivate all our plugins and activate each one individually to see which one is causing the error. So to do that, we'll go back to our C panel. We'll click on file manager. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to settings and um, unclick the show hidden files and I'll save settings. So from here, I'll go to my subdomain folder, demo tutorial IT. So from the WP content, I'll click on this folder. Now from here, I have a folder name called plugins. So I'm going to rename this folder name. So I'll right click, rename. So you're just going to give this any name you like. I'm going to call this old. Rename the file. So go back to your website, refresh your website and check to see if the error has been fixed. So if your website now works with all your plugins deactivated, that means one of your plugins is causing the error. So we need to activate each plugins individually. So from our WordPress admin dashboard, we need to activate each plugin individually until we can locate the plugin that is corrupted. So to do that first, we need to go back to our cPanel and reactivate all our plugins. So I'll go back to my cPanel. I'll go to file managers. I'll go to my subdomain folder. I'll go back to the WP contents. So I'm going to rename this folder back to plugins. So I right click on it, rename folder. So I remove the old. I'll rename the file. So we'll go back to our WordPress admin dashboard. So we'll go to plugins. We'll go to installed plugins. So you can see that all our plugin has been deactivated and it's asking us to activate each of them. So you're going to activate all plugins individually and you check your website to see if the 403 error is still there. So what I'll do here is to activate each of them. So I'll activate these plugins. Now when I activate this plugin, you go back to your website to check if the error is still there. Then you come back and activate the next one. So you're going to activate each of your plugins individually. So when you activate any plugins and the 403 error is there, that means that plugin is the one responsible for the 403 error. So what you're going to do is to deactivate the plugin and delete the plugin. So I'm going to activate all my plugins individually. 
and check to see the one that is causing the 403 error. If this method doesn't work, the next method is to fix the five permission issues. So from our C panel, I'll go to file managers. I'll go to my subdomain folder. So we can see the three folders here, WP admin, WP content, and also WP include. So these three folders should have a single permission type, which is 755. So we'll right click on each of them and change their file permissions to 755. So I right click on WP admin. I'll click on change permission. Now you can see that my permission is set to 755. And if yours is not set to 755, ensure that your settings are the same as mine. So we'll go to users, ensure that the read write execution is ticked on. Now from the group, seek only the read permission and only the execute permission. You go to the word settings, ensure that you click the read and also the execute. Now when you're done, your permissions should be set to 755. Now the same thing with the WP content, you go to change permission, ensure that yours is set to 755. Also, go to the WP includes folder, go to change permissions, ensure that yours is set to 755. So when you change all the five permissions to 755, it should fix the 403 errors. So guys, if all this method did not work, try contacting your WordPress hosting provider to help you fix the 403 forbidden error. So thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope today's video has helped you out fix the 403 forbidden error. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you guys.